Okay, let's try naming this. Good. So we haven't talked before about having uh, multiple, multiple substituents on, on the um, straight chain. So we could do the numbering. In either direction. Well, what's the smallest number we would have if we start the numbering on the left? I guess that didn't quite make sense. What would be the <laughs> smallest substituent? What's the smallest number? What's the smallest locator we would have if we start the numbering on the left? The smallest locator we would have if we start the numbering on the left would be four, right? If we started the numbering on the left, oh, the smallest yeah, locator would be a four. Sorry. Okay. If we started the numbering on the left, the right. smallest uh, substituent locator we would have would be a four. Mm -hmm. And if we started the numbering on the right, what would be the smallest locator we would have? Five. So which way should we start it? On the left. Yeah. Okay, so you want to get the smallest possible first number okay, so that's, for your numbers. That so we should start numbering from the left. Okay, so that trunks your whether you have a methyl or I mean. So we don't even need alphabetical ordering. That's right. Uh, remember that the alphabetical ordering is only if there's a tie between the different ways of numbering. Here, there was a tie between numbering clockwise or counterclockwise. So we had to use alphabetical ordering to decide how to number. Uh, but here, there is no tie. Numbering from the left gives you the smallest number of a four, and numbering from the right gives you the smallest number of a six. So we don't need the alphabetical ordering to decide uh, where to start the numbers. So if you wanted to put it in alphabetical order, could you put it in alphabetical order but with the correct numbers? I mean, yeah, well, we certainly have to put them in alphabetical order. We always use alphabetical ordering for what order we list the substituents. The question is, should we use alphabetical order to decide how to number? the molecule. Oh, okay. Yeah, we always use alphabetical order to decide what order to list the substituents, but you only need alphabetical order for the numbering if there's a tie between all the various ways of numbering. So that's actually kind of subtle and confusing. So, so. so then is it a 6 ethyl 4 propyl decay? Good. Okay, sorry, I totally forgot about the numbering. Okay, so um, we started the numbering from the left, because that gives us the lowest possible number, but you always list the substituents in alphabetical order. We didn't talk about that much before, but you always list the substituents in alphabetical order. We did that up here, right? First ethyl, then propyl. Well, first ethyl, then propyl down here. So there's one thing that we always use alphabetization for, and one thing that we rarely use alphabetization for. We always use alphabetization to decide what order to list the substituents, because how else would you do it? Notice that we don't list them in order of longest. The ethyl is the shorter substituent here, but it gets listed first. And you don't list them in order of their locator. Propyl has the, first, has the lower locator, but it still doesn't get listed first. We always use alph alphabetization to decide what order to list the substituents. But you rarely need alphabetization to decide how to number the parent. You only need alphabetization to decide how to number the parent if there's a tie between all the various ways of numbering. Well, here there was no tie. So we didn't need alphabetization to decide the number from the left. But in rings, a lot of the time there is a tie. And then you need alphabetization to decide how to number as well as telling you how to list the substituents. So in both of these cases, ethyl comes before propyl. But in this case, the ethyl got the lower number. And in this case, the ethyl got the higher number. We only needed the alphabetization here because there was a tie between the other ways of numbering. But there was no tie down here.
So let's try giving a name to this compound. This one up here. Yeah. This would be four. Yeah, I, I numbered it. Oh, I see. No, I was just looking at the wrong thing. Okay, that's fine. So that would be four ethyl seven. Uh... Oh, you know, I didn't want that to be a beetle. Why did I do that? All right, I made it a beetle. <laughs> All right. So um, I wanted it to be similar to these down here. So let's make that a profile. So should I start the numbering from the left or from the right? But so how do we break the tie? The now we have to use alphabetization to decide what, uh, what direction to number in from. Because we've got to choose one or the other, right? We only use alphabetization for numbering if there's a tie. Well, if I numbered from the left, what would be on my two locators? Four and seven. Four and seven. And if I numbered from the right, what would be my two locators? So that's a tie. There's a tie between those two ways of numbering, so only now are we forced to use alphabetization. Um, well, what are the two substituents here? An ethyl and a propyl. So who should get the priority? The ethyl. The ethyl. So we should start the numbering from the right. So actually, I think you guys might have made a mistake, because if, we, if I had butyl up here, butyl comes first in alphabetical order, and then you should start the numbering from the left. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually I, fixed that, and then I was I like... Didn't. So if this was a butyl, then you would want to give this the lower number, because right. B comes, comes first in alphabetical order. Right. B beats dot, butyl beats dot just about everything. Okay, but I wanted to make this to a propyl so I could compare it to the other examples that we did. So if this is a propyl, it comes later in alphabetical ordering. So now this would be 4-ethyl, 7-propyl, decane. All right, now the key thing that, to notice here is to compare these three cases. Uh, in all three cases, we use alphabetization to decide what order to list the substituents. But in this case, we did not need alphabetization to decide what direction to number in, because one direction was clearly superior. But in these cases, neither direction was clearly superior. There was a tie, and we also had to use alphabetization to decide in what direction to number. So there's one thing that we always use alphabetization for, and there's one thing that we rarely use it for. Um, 